Welcome back to another tutorial. I am going off of the response from my last few tutorials and there was a lot of love on the pink themed ballet core tutorial that I did. So I found another pink look that we're going to create. So here it is. I found this photo on Pinterest. I'm so excited to recreate this. So let's get to it. First up, I'm applying the Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. It makes my lips so soft. Up next is the Supergoop Mineral Matte Screen. This is SPF 40. I love this one because it helps to blur the appearance of my pores and it leaves my skin so smooth before I apply my foundation. This is my first time trying the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. I like to do a little multitasking and apply eye masks while I take care of my eye makeup. To create this pink inspired look, I immediately grabbed my You're So Money eyeshadow palette by Kylie Cosmetics. I used a lighter shade all over the lid and then I applied a little bit of a brighter pink in the outer corner. Now I'll admit this is where I started to get a little unsure of how I was recreating this look. I played around a little bit with the colors and with blending it. I am going to do some adjustments on the wing as the video continues. I'm just cleaning up a little bit of the eye makeup here with the Garnier Micellar Water. I'm using the CCC Tinted Moisturizer by Honest Beauty all over my face and then under my eyes I'm brightening it up with the Rare Beauty Concealer. Next up I'll spray some setting powder on a little beauty blender and I will blend in the concealer that I just applied. I always take some extra care under my eyes because I don't want my makeup creasing so next up I'll use this setting powder and just bake a little bit under my eyes. While that's happening, I'm going to take care of my brows by using the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm filling in any gaps with the Eyes, Lips, and Face Brow Pencil. Now I'll remove any excess setting powder, and we're moving on to contour. This is the Milk Makeup Contour Stick. I love this one because it blends so easily and just leaves a really natural glow. The next product I'm also going to use is from Milk Makeup, so I'm going to take this blush stick and I am applying a very generous amount to my cheeks to create this pink glow. The photo that I use for inspiration has really strong pink cheeks, so we are going all out. I'm going to set this again to make sure it stays in place. Next up, we're going to work on finishing the eyes. I'm taking this palette by Morph and I'm using this really shimmery light color. I'll apply this from the inner corner to the middle of my lid. Next up, I'm taking this very thin eyeliner pencil from Kylie Cosmetics and I'm going back to the Morph palette and taking a slightly burgundy shade and applying this as liner. Next up, I'm taking a nude color and I'm just going to start blending in the pink and the burgundy with the rest of my eyelid. Something that I really look forward to when I create these tutorials is actually critiquing myself so that way I can try this whole look again later on. This is one of my favorite mascaras. It's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It just adds such a rich color and volume. Now some final touches for the eyes. I'm taking this Kylie Cosmetics Ultra Glow and applying this everywhere where I already put the shimmer because this just adds some intensity to the shine. A little highlight comes next. Again, I'm going to Kylie Cosmetics. This is one of my favorite highlights to use. And it's time for the lips. I'm using a liner by Kylie Cosmetics and then I will go in with a gloss by Dibs Beauty. This is one of the things I would change next time I do this tutorial because I would like to try a lighter lip, but I do like how the lips complement the brighter pink in the eyeshadow as well. I slicked my hair back to add to the final look. Check it out and stay tuned for more. <music> 